Hi and welcome to a video on frequency tables. Here's what you're going to learn. How to organize data in order to make frequency tables. First of all, what is a frequency table? A frequency table is just one of many different ways of displaying data. Frequency tables organize lots of data into smaller categories or groups so it's easier to understand and read. Frequency tables are made up of just two columns. One column indicates what's being counted and the other column records the number of items counted in that group. Another type of frequency table called a cumulative frequency table has a third column. This third column keeps track of how many data items you've accounted for in each row. We won't be making any cumulative frequency tables in this video so if you're looking for those check out my video titled Cumulative Frequency Tables. Let's take a look at a simple frequency table here. The very first column is what we're interested in counting, in this case types of candy. The second column tells us how many we counted in each category. That's the frequency, how often something happened. For example, 36 students told us they like chocolate candy, 25 students told us they like fruit chews, and so forth. That's the frequency. Suppose we want to make a frequency table showing how many cars of certain colors are parked in a shopping center parking lot on a Saturday at 10 a.m. Well, the first thing we need is data. So we grab a pencil and paper and head to the mall on Saturday morning to record our data. Here's our piece of paper and we start walking around the parking lot. And first thing we see is a red car, then a blue car, then a white car, another white car, yet a third white car. And we keep counting cars until we've counted all of the cars in the parking lot. And now we have a frequency table. That's all there is to making a frequency table. Here's a table of data that lists the ages of ice skating students and it breaks them out by males and females. We want to make a frequency table of this data. Since the directions don't specify how the data is to be sorted, we'll assume that the question wants us to combine all of the numbers into one frequency table rather than making a separate table for the males and a frequency table for females. Notice that there are not only a lot of numbers but there are a lot of different numbers. So making a frequency table with a separate row for each age would make a very large table. We don't want to do that and we won't do that. We're going to group some ages together in intervals in order to make our frequency table smaller and make it look better. We start by putting all numbers in order from least to greatest and we're going to cross out the numbers from the list above as we organize them so we don't forget any. So take a look at the data in the table. Looks like the smallest number is a 5, so I write down a 5 and cross it out from the table up above. That's the only 5 I see, so we go on to 6. I see 3 6's, write them down and cross them out. Uh, go on to 7, I see 3 7's, write them down and cross them out. 8's, I see 3 8's. Number 9, there's only one 9. Looks like 10's, I've got two 10's. 11's, two 11's. The number 12, there's two occurrences of that. 13, I've got one 13. I've got one 14. I've got a couple of 15's. A 16, there is no 17. 18, no 19. I see a 20. There is no 21 and 22, but I do have a 23 and a 24. There we go. Now that our numbers are in order, we need to figure out what our interval of ages is going to be for each row of data we plan to plot. For school purposes, frequency tables are easiest to read when we have about five rows of data, so keep that in mind, five rows. Now let's find the range of the data. Take the largest number, 24, the numbers are already in order, so it's the very last number in our list, and subtract the smallest, 5. 24 minus 5 gives us 19. Now remember we wanted five rows of data for all this. So this information is going to help us determine the intervals to use in each row of our frequency table. We want the intervals to be equal from row to row. So if we want five rows we're going to take the range 19 and divide it by 5. 19 divided by 5 is 3.8. Now we don't want decimal intervals. So we'll round 3.8 up to 4. Now remember the number 4. That's going to be handy when we create our frequency table. Remember the number 4. And here's a frequency table. 
Right now it's blank. So we need to put some column headings in. First of all, what are we counting? Well, remember, these are the ages of ice skating students. So we'll put that in the first column. And the second column is how often each category occurs. That's the frequency. So we'll just call that frequency. Now, remember I said to remember the number 4. That's because we want every interval to be an interval of 4. Every row is going to be an interval of 4. Now, how do we figure out what the intervals are going to be? What numbers are going to be put in there? Well, the youngest age is 5 years old. So let's start with 5 and make an interval of 4. So 5 to 8 is an interval of 4. Now, a lot of people are thinking, no, it's not. That's an interval of 3. 8 minus 5 is 3. Ah, but you can't do that. Count it on your fingers if you have to. 5, 6, 7, 8. That's four numbers, so that's an interval of four. Now let's find our next interval of four. Just add four to each of the numbers above. Five plus four is nine, and eight plus four is twelve. So our next interval is nine to twelve. Do the same thing for the, re the remaining rows. Just add four to the numbers above it. Now that we have our intervals, or groups of ages, let's count how often they occur in the data. Five to eight. I've circled them up above in the data. Those are all the ages between 5 and 8. So now let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. That's the frequency. 10 ages are between 5 and 8. Now let's see how many are between 9 and 12. Let's count them again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's the frequency of 9 to 12. See how many ages are between 13 and 16. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's our frequency. How many are between 17 and 20? Just two numbers, 18 and 20. And how many ages are between 21 and 24? We have two ice skaters that are between that age range. Our frequency table is almost done. We've got to do one final thing. That's to add a title. Let's call it Ice Skating Student Ages. There you go. Once you've added the title, we're done. You've made a frequency table. Congratulations. What you learned today is how to organize data in order to make a frequency table.